This is Elgin Bennett, class of 22 outfielder, uh, currently attending Wilbur Academy, playing with the East Cobb Astros, 17U. I'm committed to the University of Illinois, and this is a day in the life. I got into baseball at the age of five years old uh, during T-ball. Um, my dad took me out there, you know, growing up where I did. Uh, I played all sports. When he took me out to T-ball, uh, he told me he told me that I hit a home run in T-ball shots, and ever since then I've been playing baseball. So I guess I guess I say my family's been a big inspiration about that. I picked the University of Illinois over any other college program because of the coaching staff, the opportunity they gave me, and their recruitment, and their style of recruitment. They recruited me at a young age, uh, being a sophomore. Um, really hasn't really developed, but they gave me a chance, they gave me an opportunity, and they gave me an offer that other schools weren't willing to give me. Um, I really like the coaching staff and the community out there and the development that they do bring. Me personally, I feel like there's little to no pressure because this has always been a goal of mine. So I've always had to just live up to the expectations of becoming a Division One baseball player. So with that actually becoming a reality, I feel like nothing has changed, and I've just been motivated to do better on and off the field and to show people like what I'm really capable of and that I deserve this opportunity to play Division One baseball. I for sure say my greatest strength is speed, speed on the base pass, speed in the outfield, just speed overall. And my speed contributes to uh, like other parts of my game, like my hit tool is influenced by my speed, my defense is influenced by my speed, my base running is influenced by my speed. So I say speed is the greatest ability I have. Uh, I say something I need to work on is, my, I say my reads in the outfield, they need to become sharper, more diligent, like come straight into the ball, click, pick the ball up cleaner, and just like fielding overall.
superstition or ritual that I like to do is uh, I like to pray before a game. Uh, I'm a real believer in God and um, stuff like that. So I like to just honor him. And I wouldn't be able to play this game without him and his grace. So I just like to honor him. And I feel like because of that, I can play to the best of my ability with no distractions. <laughs> I played you guys with bombers. Yeah, I said Ronald Cooney Jr. because I have a family connection with him. Uh, my dad actually works with his older cousin, Kelvin Escobar, and I train with him, so I just have that family connection. And he's always been a, a player I look up to. Um, number two, I'd say Nico Goodrum. Uh, I grew up hitting at uh, Nico Goodrum's father cages. Uh, Coach Tim, as I like to call him, down uh, where I live. So just always having that family connection with Nico and uh, Nico's story about how he really struggled through the minor leagues and uh, now he's in the majors, uh, having a good contract and just playing good. That really inspired me. And I say number three is, uh, I say Fernando Tatis because of uh, the skill and like the flavor he brings to the game, the excitement and uh, just bringing that uh, Baseball is fun back and uh, the, incite, the excitement back to the game. I really like that. I'd say uh, hitting a bomb at Lake Point during the PBR National Championship. I was playing with Aggies. We were down two. There was two on base. Um, I was in kind of a pinch because I really had to use the bathroom. I think I was like 0 for 2. Not like with K's or anything, like ground outs. I was 0 for 2. I was, I was talking to Tamar. I told Tamar, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna hit a bomb first pitch, and I'm gonna run to the bathroom, use the bathroom, and I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna be up. So, with me hitting the bomb, it would be tied because we were down 0 2. So, I hit a bomb first pitch, ran around the bases, you know. I did a little, um, what's it called? I did a little celebration, it was real cool. I ran to the bathroom, I come back out, we're up 3 2. So I'm like, all right, how do we score? He's like, while you were in the bathroom, the dude behind you, Darnell, he hit a bomb. So we hit back-to-back -back bombs, I didn't even know. And uh, that was just a cool experience to like speak that into existence. And me saying I'm gonna hit a bomb first pitch, doing it. And then after that saying like, we're gonna be up and coming back and we're up. So that was a cool experience. <laughs> I just say keep grinding. Know that baseball is a struggle. Uh, it's a game of up and downs. Over three games, three for three games. I'm just saying like, you got to keep your head medium. You can't get too high. You can't get too low. And uh, you just got to put your head down and grind. And uh, it's really about the work that the scouts and your peers and your family don't see. 
that's going to put you above other players. And uh, that really matters what you do in your off time. Uh, so yesterday, hit the field, did some drill work, some in and out, some outfield, uh, hit some BP, and then today we came to the facility, got a little workout in with the plyo balls, plyometric balls. Uh, did some soft balls, some T work, drill work, and got some BPN. That's the day of my life. Thanks for watching.